Now, to all INTPs and everyone watching this video, my question is, would you rather take the red pill or the blue pill? Red pill, everyone agrees with you, but you're always actually factually wrong. Blue pill, you're always actually right about everything, but nobody ever agrees with you. Nobody ever listens to you. Now on one scale in this discussion we have the INTPs, they are the blue pillars. On the other side we have the ESFJs, they are the red pillars, they tend to score the highest on agreeableness. Blue INTPs, they tend to score the most on disagreeableness. They tend to struggle to get other people on their side, they tend to feel that nobody listens to them, they tend to feel that uh, other people are always against them. How can you as an ESFJ develop a sense of inner truth? and learn to say no to other people? And how can you as an INTP develop a sense of diplomacy and understanding and patience for the people around you, a desire and ability to cooperate with others? What is the INTP problem? The INTP problem is being gifted by a higher than average intelligence and skill in problem solving and in analysis and in rational thinking, but having nobody listen to you or care for what you have to say. A question a lot of INTPs will have in their mind is just, why do people never listen to good advice? Why do people never hear what I have to say? Why do people never take my feedback seriously? A lot of the time I think the better question is uh, not why do people never listen to my advice but why do they ask for it to begin with? Because most of the time it's that people do ask for it but when given the answer they are hesitant to listen, they are hesitant to take in or agree with what you have to say. No matter how honest, no matter how accurate, no matter how correct it is. They just don't want to hear it because they didn't think of it first. People like to think of things first. People like to be the ones to figure things out. So when people ask for advice, what they're asking for is not the answer, but they want you to give the help or the questions or the input that will help them come to the right answer. So as an INTP, the best way to bypass this problem of uh, not being listened to, not being taken seriously, not being heard, is by giving people not the answer, but the logic, the rationale that they can use to form and find the right answer for themselves. Think of it as you're asking people to uh, put in a component into their brain that does not exist. That's not possible. You cannot put a component into a person's computer. You have to first build the network and foundation and the place where you have to put the component and then you can attach it and then you're good to go. If people would be robots, it's <laughs> this is the analogy you have to work with. Uh, people don't want to hear advice because there is no room in their mind to accept it. There is no space for it. There is no foundation, no nothing to back it up, no knowledge, no uh, theory, no, no algorithm, nothing to back it up. And when you're an INTP, it's often that uh, you spend so much time perfecting these theories, perfecting these algorithms, so that you'll be able to solve any problem put before you. INTPs... They spend so much time going over their rationale, their mathematics, how they add things up, how they connect things, how they understand things, how they process things, in order to make sure that they can draw positive, helpful, and rational conclusions about the world around them. How do INTPs do this? First, by introverted intuition through synthesizing. Second, by introverted thinking, analyzing. Then by thinking perceiving, weighing pros and cons, and then by intuitive perceiving, changing perspectives. Now you can argue what the INTP's real problem really is. Is it that people don't listen to advice or is it that people don't appreciate your creativity and your intelligence? A lot of the time uh, some people might argue the key problem for an INTP is actually that yeah, while they are capable of all these things. On Thursday they have Thanksgiving dinner and they have to meet their grandma and they have to go out with the dog 
and then after that they have to help their friend who is moving. Social obligations and expectations at work, how you should dress, how you should talk to people, uh, catching up, being polite, doing small talk, all those things are constantly distracting you. And when you're giving advice and when you're trying to use your intellect and when you're trying to figure things out and when you're trying to help people solve problems, they expect you to teach them, to be polite with them, to be patient with them, to be nice to them. You cannot simply give people the answer they want, but you must also back up and support their ego. You have to give them verification. You have to say, I also struggled with this and oh, don't worry, you're not stupid. Uh, you have to give people respect and you have to give them some level of kindness and if you're not capable of these things other people are not going to listen to you you're just gonna come off as a jerk and your advice and your answers will be discarded or often ignored and people will do the opposite of what you told them to simply because they don't like you <laughs> now as an INTP when it comes to other people you have two choices you can either grow your neck beard and put on a giant fedora and go on about your life as an expert and somebody who knows it all, or you can instead try to make people less dependent on you. Instead of trying to be the smartest person in the room and the one everyone comes to for the answer, you're the person everyone comes to for the reasoning, for the theory for the creativity, for the person that can offer the critical glance and alternatives. INTPs thrive much better as advisors that give input into decision making rather than as decision makers. What that means is you want to be the person that can correct people when they're starting to act illogically or irrationally. When people start looking at or mistaking evidence, when people start uh, uh, getting too stuck on one conclusion, you're the person who opens them up and goes, hey, have you considered that possibility? Or have you looked at this theory? Have you understood or considered this perspective? INTPs are people that can excel and even come off as friendly and kind and supportive in using their flow functions. So if you use your flow functions in a way that is uh, respectful and adaptable to other people's emotions and situation, you can become uh, an excellent problem solver. But if you're a person that uses the flow functions at the expense of or against the tribe, you're going to be a person who constantly feels ignored and not listened to. What I mean with this is if you use the flow functions in a manner to attack the tribe or to make them feel stupid or worse about themselves, if you use the flow function ignorant of uh, other people's feelings, you're often going to have the opposite consequence of what you intended. Perhaps your boss will be even less likely to do what you said or to consider your opinions because you sounded so sure of yourself or because you are so ignorant of their perspective or their opinions. You could not correct the issues in decision making or their rational thinking or their problems in the problem solving process because you are too busy trying to give them the answer. Now, if you're too busy giving people the answer, what might sometimes happen is other people will become dependent on you. You'll be the person that people always call when something goes wrong. You'll be the person everyone turns to in the decision-making process to tell them what to do. And you feel constantly drained by other people. This happens to a lot of INTPs. They become so much the expert in a friend group that they become the person that is forced to be the expert in a friend group. They become forced to give people answers, forced to tell people what to do, forced to be the person who knows best. When sometimes you might not want to be. You might want to be uh, the creative person who just throws things out or just has a discussion or just uh, uh, let's go or plays around with an idea or an argument just for the heck of it. But in this case, uh, it might even become demanding that you have to be the person that knows and you have to be straight and consistent in your logic even if you don't want to. But the bigger problem is, do you want people to call you 3 a.m. in the morning and expect you to give them an answer on whether they should get a cat or a dog or if they should break up with their boyfriend? Do you want that, INTPs? Do you really want that? 
Anyways, that was the end of my video on INTPs and problem solving and giving advice. Now, my question for you is, how many shares do you think this video needs before it will be watched by every single person on earth? How many times would we need to share this video in order for it to be watched by every single person in every single corner of the planet? Let me know in the comments down below and thanks everyone for watching.